Hey, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here in my shower. Um, well, the thing is, I'm renting a flat, and as it is in the UK, you if you if you're renting, you have no, you, you cannot change anything in your flat. You cannot alterate the walls. You cannot drill holes. Nothing. It is quite annoying sometimes because you would like to change something. So I decided to design a soap tray which I can hang over my glass, my shower glass door. Yeah, so for this exercise um, I was using uh, Rhino and Cura for the 3D printing file and then I printed all the iterations because it took me a while, it took me several iterations to actually come up with a final product. Um, I used uh, Ender Free Pro. What I'm doing here in Rhino is trying to find uh, trying to find basic dimensions so I can fit in my soap but maybe also my shampoo and then how far does it have to hang down from the glass edge in order for me to reach it comfortable. And very early on I was already thinking about basic shape and design not just because of the looks um, but from from a safety perspective so in case I hit my head on that thing it should have all the corners and edges filleted Here I was already thinking about the thickness of my wall for the tray um, because you have to think about the, the, the printing and how to produce it especially the, the nozzle size uh, so I was using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle size so that means uh, my wall needed to be a multiple of that so I have so I have a, a certain wall thickness, I have an infill and that need to be needed to be uh, thought of. Next important item, uh, drainage holes. Of course it, it need to be open on the bottom so the water can just run out so I was thinking to have a circular like a circular pattern of holes which later turned out not not that great because it just took so long to print just several hours more as if I would use another pattern Yeah, instead of like having one, just one big hook um, to hold the tray on the glass, I was deciding to have uh, two hooks next to each other, just to save material.
yeah, so here I was actually uh, deciding to have um, a towel hook outside. So when when my my tray hook comes down on the other side of the glass, I wanted to have a hook for my towel. Yeah, here I was already finishing my first my first prototype. I even filleted uh, the drainage holes, which turned out to be a very bad idea because it just took endless to print, many many hours. Yeah, I had to kind of uh, redo some of the design because I was calculating the thickness of the walls wrong. I wanted to like uh, fill it everything, which was turned out to be quite a bad idea at the end.
then I was trying to add some slits in, into the wall so I can see from below what's actually in the tray because I didn't want to have the hooks too long hanging down just to avoid to use too much material or my eye level would be slightly lower than actually the tray itself so I, I thought it would be a good idea to have these slits in there Yeah, I was even, I was even filleting all the walls on the top, which was was not a good idea at the end. Here I'm already exporting as an STL file, which is basically a, a mesh. Then importing everything to Kura. Took it quite long to to load. rotating it because I thought it might not fit on the printer just setting up the basic settings
and I also used the experimental support for the hooks. So there are two ways to have supports for overhanging items. is either uh, the normal support which just builds a support from the ground level up on the same position as your overhang or you use the tree support which which uses less material and creates a tree from one point and then branching out to the to the bits which needs to be supported yeah that was my first prototype um, it just it didn't print everything first of all it took endless to create this uh, circular holes with the fillets which looked first of all it didn't look good and it took so long um, and then there was a problem with the the filament roll it's just stuck and I was not looking and the printer was just printing without any filament for a while so we ended up with just a, like a tray we're still using it now it's actually in the bathroom just at the sink we use it as a, as a soap holder for the sink yeah so this was the was the, the second um, test on the printer and in the first uh, finished prototype you can see the tree support and then it's already testing it on the glass but that was just a few days well two three weeks later it's just the, my hooks were just not thick enough they they couldn't handle the weight of the soap and just broke well back to Rhino I actually went back to the the version with the with the holes just because I just looked better. What I did though, I just took out uh, the fillets, which was which I thought might be might be the reason why it takes so long to print, and just made and also realized that all these fillets were completely for nothing because with the certain thickness of the nozzle, you already have some kind of um, rounded edges anyway. Also I decided to take some of these out some of the holes out uh, just to lower the printing time
instead of having the slits on the side to see what's in the tray from below um, I try to use the same language as I use for the um, for the drainage holes to have just holes along the wall that also saves material and it's more transparent but again I played way too long with fillets and stuff like that which was at the end not necessary I made these hooks a bit wider that helped a lot to just make it more stable they were thicker at the end and they had these additional ribs connecting the hooks with the tray and that was actually almost the la last version In Cura, I just uh, again updated a bit um, the settings and also I changed back to a normal support because that was more reliable in terms of finishing the, the, the entire printing process. see all the iterations and tests this was one of the last one but there was still the, the hooks were still not thick enough so this was still um, one of the versions were printed with the tree support which created this weird supports for the for the holes which yeah, it was way too much. And you can you can see that this this version um, you can see that this version was not strong enough. It's it, the, the, the hooks are actually bent because of the weight of the tray which then I changed to a, where I changed the, the ribs to be much taller and that yeah this was the last final version which uh, works perfectly then that's how it looks like and it works perfectly soap tray version 1.0